Hello Libra, this is Soul. And Libra, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of June 12th through the 18th, 2017. The messages will also be for Libra Moon and Libra Rising. All right, Libra, I hope all is well. With that being said, let's jump right into your messages for this upcoming week. For some of you I'm about to read for, you have the energy of the Six of Coins, overall energies in the reverse. So that means in the reverse, um, there's something going on or had taken place in the past that someone uh, was generous, possibly generous towards a Libra. Maybe a job was offered. The Six of Pentacles relates to um, generosity, possibly because of um, Pentacles represent, <clears throat> excuse me, Earth sign energies, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female could have been some sort of, you know, exchanges with those energies, someone offering you a job, it could have been, you know, within the job, someone offering you a pay raise, a promotion, could be outside of anything coming your way, it could be just that Libra may have been generous to someone. Uh, this is a completion in the reverse, all right? Uh, that's what I'm getting. And there may have been uh, some sort of, I want to stick with the work and finances, um, maybe because sometimes this, this six of pentacles, when it comes in and it's in the upright, it's all about, you know, being generous, but that generosity could stretch out into so many different areas. But I want to stay focused here on the work and finances, because I feel that someone was offered a, possibly a new job, new position, promotion offered a pay raise could have been a bonus um some sort of increase in salary and this is just in the reverse to say that see because this gentleman here is looking backwards so that means that someone offered something to you in the past okay because he's looking in this direction in the reverse also too it could have been like i said before you having to extend some sort of generosity and that extension of generosity could have went into family uh went towards family could have went towards a friend who needed to borrow some money uh, family members who needed to borrow some money it could have been anyone libra being generous doesn't necessarily always have to relate to finances. It could have been you being generous with your time. The uh, of you know the um, reverse mean you know stands true as well. Someone could have been generous towards you with their time, absence of any money. All right, I just want to get my thought processes together here. King of uh, Swords is in a reverse past position. So now this could have been a couple things that I can say about this energy here. Now this. King of Swords represents you and that of Gemini and uh, Aquarius, male or female. King also could represent female energy. So maybe the past position in this king is coming up after the Six of Pentacles. Could it be an, an, a strong indication that someone got promoted to a higher position? That's what this king would represent. Also, too, they're outside of any work related uh messages that i'm picking up but i do feel strongly though that someone got promoted to possibly a manager or some something higher within the uh, workplace environment okay if it's not related to that then there was some sort of indecision um by some of you possibly related to finances that you were not clear about Normally, the king in the upright is all about you being very decisive and clear with good intentions. Now, just because it's in the reverse, that doesn't mean that you uh, didn't have good intentions. But there was something that you were uncertain or not clear about in terms of making the decision. Now, that decision could be not only related to finances, but any other area or aspect of your life. It could have been a relationship, something going on in the family. So whatever it is, Libra, please apply it to your situation, okay? Um, usually the king is someone who's direct. King is also regarded as someone being very intellectual, um, mind-provoking, um, any decisions being made is, is absence from uh, any emotions. But I feel that just I'm, I'm reading for someone who has been clearly 
undecided about making the decision. Uh, and the king comes in as higher energy, so it's something that was of, of, of importance. Mind you that this king is in the past position, so this energy is almost leaving you, okay? So maybe that the um, decision was made or will be made, and it could be directly or indirectly related to finances or something going on with finances. Middle of the week now, we have the seven of wands. So this could be just, um, of course, external, internal battles and struggles. Um, family members still having some sort of issues. Some of you may have issues with family members. I think of the wands as those people, family members or friends, could be co-workers. This is uh, standing your ground, having to be or feel defensive because you you know you might be feel, feeling like you're being attacked by others um but this is a message though for you to um stand your ground um possibly protect your um you know your position if it's not you know anything to do with any, excuse me internal battles or struggles then it could be just an increase of energy um that you have in the midweek and hopefully if it is increased energy that you use it to uh, do something positive okay that's why I sometimes get with the wands it's not always about these battles and struggles and dealing with others externally or internally it could be just you having an increase uh, maybe you know it could be that because this seven of wands comes after the king of uh, swords in the reverse that maybe there was something um, related to low energy and having to make a decision about something that was important. So so many things that could be connected um, in your reading with these two, seven of wands and the king, but whatever it is, whatever it means for you. Um, but I'm also getting that third thing about having a buildup of energy and some of you in the midweek may find yourself feeling energetic for some, because this Nine of Wands is a physical card. It's a card of movement. Um, and I hope I said seven, not nine. Seven of Wands is a you know physical card of movement. Wands represent fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female. So, it, you know, again, it could be exchanges with those energies um, and it may not, all right? It could be with any zodiac sign in this energy. Okay, Friday going into the weekend. Now we have the Five of Swords. So there's still some sort of conflicting interests that some of you are uh, dealing with. The Swords, again, represents your energy. So some of you are in conflict still with something. Uh, maybe it's related because this king mirrors the Five of Swords. But because it's lower in terms of his rank, that means that, uh, you know, maybe the decision hasn't clearly been made yet. And you're still in conflict. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female uh, could be part of this energy. Friday going into the weekend, someone is still conflicted. This is in the upright position. So something happens, I feel, Friday going into the weekend that's causing some sort of conflict uh, about a decision. But the heat is sort of more or less being taken off because of the, the Seven of Wands. Uh, because you are intent on doing something about having to make a decision, but you're still in conflict, okay? Um, but just keep in mind, too, the fives like the tens are clearing of energy. Once they come, it doesn't stick around. And this is air, so it's not going to stick around too long. So I feel that, you know, it may be that because more information is needed. Going into the weekend, uh, because it's a cutoff here on Friday, that some sort of decision is made relevant to something that is of importance to some Libras that I'm reading for. Okay. Something going on. All right. Well, that's your reading Libra. Uh, with that being said, I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead full of love and light. Don't forget to look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional information. Uh, until I talk to you again, Libra, please be well and safe. Bye.